हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दिस इंग्लिश लिटरेचर क्लास फॉर क्लास टू टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर टुडे इट्स अ स्टोरी दिस इज चैप्टर ट्वेल्व एवरी वन ओपन पेज नंबर एटी फोर चैप्टर नेम इज चिक्स गो फॉर ए वॉक मादर हैन lived in the hen house of a big farm she laid five brown eggs soon five chicks came out the chicks chipped all the day they thought that chicks and hens were the only creatures in the world one day all five of them set out for a Walk, chip chip, chip chip. They sang merrily. They saw a smart white duck who said quack quack. Then they met a plump little puppy who said oof oof. They saw a gentle brown cow who said mmm mmm. The chicks. were surprised they came to the hen house laughing all the way mother they said we saw the funniest hens in the world one was a shiny white hen with a broad flat beak and it said quack quack mother hen said that was no hen it was a duck all five said oh a duck but then mother we saw an even funnier hen it had no feathers no wings and too many legs with a moving tail and it said oh oh mother hen explained that was not a hen it was a puppy all five said oh a puppy but mother the funniest hen was big it had thick brown hair all over it had a long tail and on its head were long ears it said moo moo mother hen said that was not a hen it was a cow the five chicks repeated duck puppy cow they smiled thinking of the many things in the world besides hens and chicks so this was the story about chicks go for a walk Now I am going to write some word meanings. You must write in your literature copy and learn those meanings. Word meanings. Lead here. Lead is the past form of. Lay. Lay is the past form of lay. Lay. That means to produce eggs. To produce eggs. Then chip. Chit is the short, 
squeaky sound made by a young bird. Then, smart. Smart girl or smart boy is it? It means clean and tidy. Clean and tidy or tidy you can say. Clean and tidy. Now, plump. Plump means healthy. Plump. That means having a round shape. That means healthy. You can write healthy. Gentle. Gentle. G-E-N-T-L-E. Gentle. That means to have a mild character. To have a mild character. Okay then, write these words and learn. Late, that means to produce eggs. Chipped, that means sharp, squeaky sound made by a young bird. Smart, clean and tidy. Plump, that means healthy, having a round shape, that means healthy. Gentle, to have a mild character. Now, true false. Write T for true and F for false. Write T for true and F for false. So number one. Mother hen, mother hen, laid five brown eggs, mother hen laid five brown eggs. It is true, true answer. Number two. The chicks, the chicks sit out for a walk, sit out for a walk. And this is also true, T for true, capital T. Number three, a smart a smart, quiet, dark, sit. Dark, sit. Not quite duck seed, moo moo. But you all know that duck doesn't say moo moo, it says quack quack. So this is the false answer. False. This statement is false, so I have written capital A. First one, mother hen laid five brown eggs. This is true, I have written T. Number two, the chick set out for a walk. This is also true, so I have written T. And number three, a smart five duck say Momo. This is false. So I have written capital F. You also write. Now number four, I will go to right. Number four, the dark, the dark, 
Ram had a broad flat beak? Yes, it is true. So, capital G. Number 5. The puppy had no fingers. The puppy. The puppy had no fingers. The puppy had no fingers. This is also true. So capital G. And number six. The cow had no tail. The cow had no tail. This statement is false. So capital A. Cow had a tail. So now, number four, I am repeating. The dog had a broad, flat beak. It is true. Capital T. I have written number 5. The puppy had no feathers. It is also true. So capital T. Now number 6. The cow had no tail. It is false. So I have written capital A. Number C. Now I'm writing page number 87. This is first one. I'm writing only the answers. The chicks, the chicks chipped all day. It is the answer. Chipped all day. answer one day one day the five chicks set out for a work set out for a work now number three the dog or puppy it is the puppy was little and found was little and 
Plum. Number four. The cow was the finest, finest hen. So it was from C number circle the curve towards to complete the sentences. And I have written the full sentence with the correct word. So these are the sentences with correct words. The chicks chipped all day. The number two one day. The five chicks set out for a walk. The number three the puppy was little and plump. Number four the cow was the funniest hen. So dear students. These were our exercise of A, B, C. All of you must write in your literature copy and learn all these things by heart. Okay, thank you.